So today, we finally received the long-awaited animal list for Matariki Park. So I want to go ahead and get this out of the way because I feel like a few of us are feeling this way. Was this the list that I was expecting to see for New Zealand? No. Sure, there are a few on there that are just going to be a go-to slam dunk that you know are going to be on this map. Others, I was very surprised to see just not having a whole lot of knowledge of the area, but it does make sense after researching a bit and understanding the ultimate goal here. Now I have received early access and I have really been enjoying it so far. That's all I'm gonna say as far as that goes. But what I can tell you is that this is a very good list of animals for New Zealand and I think that you will all really enjoy this map as well. We have seven new species which saying it you know doesn't sound like a lot but that's almost an entire map's worth of species and we really hadn't received anything like that other than Africa so I really feel like the devs are going in the proper direction they are giving us a lot to work with there are 17 species on this map and the map size is going to be eight kilometers by eight kilometers squared so you can kind of get the picture of what you're going to be walking into the Matariki Park DLC is going to be $9.99 or $13.95 Aussie it looks like but enough of the chit chat let's go ahead and get into the stuff you really want to know for the animal list we're going to start it off from the top with the chamois now this critter is in Transylvania and a lot of these are gonna be but I'm not disappointed at all it just gives me more to set my sights on now the next one's going to be European hare and then we have a new one it is the European rabbit from what we can tell in the little image they gave us you know it's pretty much your typical rabbit it's going to be another small game that you can get after up next is the fallow deer followed by another new one we have the feral goat and again this animal personally is just beautiful the coat is right up my alley and I'm wishing I could say more but up next we have the feral pig it's another new one and you can tell there are gonna be some slightly different body modifications <laughs> to tell this one apart from its cousin moving on we have the gray leg goose that we also see in Transylvania the helmeted guinea fowl that shows up in Africa then we have another new one it's the himalayan tar i don't know too much about these guys but i am really happy to see a new species that we can get after up next is going to be the pheasant followed by a new one that we're going to actually call the red deer now i'm not going to go into too much about these guys but you can tell that this rack is huge so you're gonna be seeing some things you haven't seen before and it's gonna be wild when i first seen this guy i totally thought it was gonna be a great one release and that we were going you know 100 percent genetics and i heard we were gonna get this massive bull but what it definitely seems like from this announcement is that this is going to be your typical red deer up next we have a rocky mountain elk which shows up in nez then we have the somber deer which is a new deer and again i don't know too much about these new species coming from the states this is a new one for me so i'm learning as we go this next one i am constantly mispronouncing as sika when it's actually a sika deer so we're getting another new one it's a sika deer and i'm gonna try to remember that moving forward after that we have three of the old species we have a white-tailed deer we have the wild boar and then of course of course we have the wild duck so there you have it that is the 17 species that we will be getting after in New Zealand all in all my take of this list is pretty positive of course there's some stuff that I wanted to see like a wallaby but you know after further research and understanding kind of where we were headed with this it makes a lot of sense what they have going on I am steadily working on some really good content that I hope you all enjoy in the near future and I cannot wait for you all to get your hands on this DLC that's all I got for you. I'm going to keep it short this time. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day.